so this is the Superfly R. Uh, initial thoughts on this board is a uh, great board to do any kind of tricks on that you want to do surf style. If you like doing spins or alley-oops or shove-its or even just airs or even something as simple as floaters, this is a great board. Um, it hides a lot of volume with the concave deck. As you can see, the, uh, the rail is pulled in, so it's pretty narrow, or pretty thin, I should say, at the edge, which is gonna help bite into the wave better. And the rails are also, they have a little bit more of a rounded feel to them compared to some of the other boards. While they still do have that hard edge, as you go above that, it is rounded, and that hard edge is tucked underneath. So it's kind of a, a little bit of a looser feel compared to some of the other boards that just have that hard edge. This board has a moderate rocker profile, so it's gonna have plenty of speed, um, but also still be pretty maneuverable. As we come to the back of the board, we have this uh, wing here that fades into our, our rounded tail. And what I felt in this wing in combination with this front fin being located right here above it, is that this board had a ton of hold while you were just pumping or accelerating straight into the wave. But then as soon as you go to initiate any sort of uh, turn, like it, let's say you want to do a 360, this board breaks loose super easy and spins on a dime, probably more so than any other board in the lineup. So because this board hides so much volume, especially in the tail end, it's really gonna be good for bigger riders. And also, you will be able to ride this board a little bit shorter than, uh, let's say, a different model, just due to that extra volume that you're getting. And uh, that's gonna make you just be able to comfortably hang out at the back of the wave, and you can lean on the tail, you can lean forward, and no matter what you're gonna do, the board's gonna have plenty of float, and you're not gonna have to pump too hard. We've got the, the Soulcraft two-piece traction on here, which I've been absolutely loving. It's super soft on the feet. Uh, I think the arch support is the perfect height and uh, just all around the best traction I've ever used, to be quite frank. And um, 